Daniel Chan Ho Yuan is widely recognized as one of the outstanding talents in para badminton. Ever since joining Hong Kong's para badminton team more than a decade ago, the men's singles WH2 star has built his success with an unwavering commitment to the sport. I treat para badminton as my religion because it helped me to stand up, it helped me to have real life. I trust badminton and I believe that if I am not quitting, badminton will not quit me, will, will not leave me. Badminton Unlimited had a chat with the world number two to find out how Para Badminton gave him a new lease of life. I was a passenger and the car accident come out. So, uh, so my Chinese New Year of, of that year, I stay in hospital, in ICU. When I wake up, I lost my left leg. I would call that, that period as my dark age, but luckily, Badminton saved me from, from that. One year, I got discharged from hospital and then I started to touch power badminton, wheelchair badminton. In my normal life, I can move very smoothly, but when I sit on wheelchair on the badminton court, I like flying because nothing can limit your movement if you are in a sport wheelchair and holding your racket. So um, the feeling is really, really fantastic. So I, I know that at that moment, I will Give, I will give so many times into this sport. The Hong Kong wheelchair fencing team comes to me and invite if you are interested in fencing because I have long hand, it's easy for me to pick up. I'm very potential, I'm young. And because in Hong Kong, they never got a wheelchair badminton player. So if you develop a new sport in a place, it, it will be very, very difficult. No sparring partner, no experience, no equipment, and then no one can expect how high you can be. So when I say I would like to be the first one in Hong Kong, everybody thinks you are stupid, you are an idiot. But now after 11 years, I proved that, okay, I'm right. Actually, i done what I want to be and I'm success. So I'm proud of my decision at that moment. My wife always appreciates me because uh, we know each other for over 20 years. So she knows what I was before my accident and she knows what I am today. So she always say that, okay, we are lucky and I am lucky that I have my accident and let me to be a bet better person. She is a very good friend for me to share. So uh, we talk every day, uh, big things, small things, positive things, dark things. I will share all the things, all the angles to her. So she is a good one to let me to give all my stress to her. So thank my wife, always supporting me. With her support, I can only focus in my uh, sport career. It's the first ever time for Paralympic to have Power Badminton as a official event. So um, if I can win a medal, especially a gold medal, I will make some history in my life. Then when I'm getting old, when I'm six, 60 years old, lie on my bed, I can still get my gold medals and think of my life. Oh, I have no regret to spend all my time to, into power badminton. And I always remind myself that we need to do a good show in the Paralympic. We need to show to everyone that power badminton is a sport worth to keep itself in Paralympic longer and longer. We know that now we are in Paralympic for 2020 in Tokyo and also 2024 in Paris. So what about 2020 in New York and then 2032? So we, I, I hope that personally, Power, Power Badminton can be stay as long as it can in Paralympic. And then to let more effort to come into our sport to develop better and then we can stay longer.